Good evening and thanks for joining us on this Sunday. I'm Tom Yamas. We begin tonight with the seismic shift in the investigation into the alleged attack against Empire actor Jesse Smollett. A law enforcement official telling ABC News two men questioned by police claim Smollett paid them to stage that attack. Authorities with new evidence after questioning and releasing the two men who were seen here on surveillance. Police say they are brothers and they are cooperating with investigators and both of them know the actor. Smollett releasing a statement fiercely denying the claims. Authorities now urgently asking to speak with him. ABC's Ariel Reshef leads us off. Tonight, police telling ABC News the two brothers seen in this surveillance video claim Empire star Jussie Smollett paid them to carry out a fabricated homophobic attack. Sources say detectives are actively investigating that allegation. Who the f would make something like this up or add something to it or or whatever it may be? I can't I can't even I'm an advocate. Now Smollett doubling down on his story as police probe whether he staged a hoax. The actor's criminal defense attorney saying in a statement as a victim of a hate crime who has cooperated with the police investigation, Smollett is angered and devastated by the suggestion he was involved in the alleged attack. Nothing is further from the truth and anyone claiming otherwise is lying. I'm pissed off. What is it that has you so angry? Is it the the attackers? It's the Is attackers, it? but it's also the attacks. Chicago police saying they urgently want to talk to Smollett, now waiting to hear back from his attorneys. Investigators also combing through phone records to see whether the brothers spoke to Smollett the night of the alleged incident. They wanted me to give my phone to the tech for three to four hours. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I have private pictures and videos and numbers. The brothers now said to be cooperating with police after being confronted with evidence they bought the rope found around Smollett's neck. Authorities confirming they had a previous relationship with Smollett. The star telling our Robin Roberts earlier this week he was sure the men in that shadowy video were his attackers. I don't have any doubt in my mind that that's them never did. But now in that statement, Smollett's attorney saying one of the brothers was his personal trainer, claiming it is impossible to believe that this person could have played a role in the crime against Jussie or would falsely claim Jussie's complicity. If the attackers are never found, how will you be able to heal? Um, I don't know. Let's just hope that they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's not go there yet. All right, Ariel Reshef joins us now live on set, and authorities still want to talk to Smollett. That hasn't happened yet, and if he is convicted, he could face some serious prison time? He sure can, Tom. A lot of people are asking this question, what could happen here? Smollett could face charges for filing a false police report. That is a felony in the state of Illinois, bearing a punishment up to three years in prison. But again, the case is still being investigated. All right, Ariel, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.